Hi, it's Kerry. Today I'm looking at some prehistoric animals. My favourite beasts are Smilodon, also known as the saber-toothed tiger, and the woolly mammoth. Can you tell me if the giant sloth walked on two legs or four legs? Give a thumbs up if you like prehistoric animals. Help me reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year by subscribing and sharing my videos with your friends. Thank you. The woolly mammoth. They probably use their tusks to brush away the snow in search of food. They would have deterred potential predators and possibly attracted mates as well. The mammoths had thick skin that secreted an oily substance that covered their long coats and insulated them from the cold weather. They also evolved smaller ears and shorter tails to help conserve heat. You can see those big long tusks there. That's amazing, isn't it? And the smaller ears. Mammoths consumed about 225 kilograms of plants, grasses, aquatic shrubs and trees daily. They use the tip of their sensitive trunks to pick and eat delicate buds, flowers and shorter grasses. They had four giant shoe box sized teeth, two upper and two lower. They grew six sets of teeth over a lifetime and typically died when their last set of teeth lost the ability to grind up vegetation. I've got another mammoth that I'm going to show you in a moment so we can compare them. They're both really nice. I love Manny from Ice Age. And here's my other one. Very similar sort of style. Not a lot of difference. I'm noticing that the eyes are positioned a little bit differently. The ears look about the same. Both really nice mammoths. Such an amazing animal. The amoeba loden. It had two pairs of tusks, one in the upper jaw and one pair in the lower. The lower pair of tusks was shaped like a shovel that pointed forwards from the lower jaw. These tusks would have helped amoeba loden uproot plants and scrape bark off trees. There's a fun fight at the end of the video and after that there's a bit more fun as well. Andrew Sarkis. Wow, that's an angry looking mouse. It walked on four short legs and had a long body, a long tail and feet with hoofed toes. It had a long snout with large sharp teeth and flat cheek teeth that helped to grind and crush bones. Its teeth and jaws were very strong and its skull measured three feet or one metre long. Notice the hump along the spine. This is Enostrancevia. It was saber-toothed predator. Its upper canine teeth were 15 centimeters long and the animal also had large incisors. It had a long narrow skull, a slender body and quite short legs. This one's depicted with quite long claws there as well. Enostrancevia is in a fight later on in our fun ending. Remember to stay and watch it. The 
giant sloth. It weighed about as much as a modern large-sized elephant. It had huge claws, long dark hair and could walk on its hind legs, very much like a bear. If it stood on its hind legs, it became approximately 20 feet tall or a bit over 6 meters. That's like twice the height of an elephant. It was a herbivore that fed on leaves found on low tree branches and bushes. It had large, sharp and very dangerous claws that were used for stripping leaves and bark from trees. The teeth were extremely small and blunt. The giant sloths used their simple teeth to grind the food that they bit into before swallowing it. They were able to digest fibrous and coarse food in their stomachs. Hyenodon gigas was the dominant predator of its day. As big as a small rhino, it was the largest of its kind. It also was a predator of the saber-toothed cats. Hyenodon were very successful predators from a group known as Creodents. Their skulls showed that they had a very acute sense of smell. They were fast, agile and had bone crunching teeth making it a lethal hunter capable of eating every part of its prey. It was most likely a nocturnal hunter that attacked the young or weak and may have gathered in packs to take down larger prey such as the giant pigs. Hyenodon is also going to be in the fight later on. Brontotherum is also known as Megaceraps. Its name means thunder beast. They look a bit like a rhinoceros and feed mainly on vegetation. Brontotherum have a gigantic Y-shaped horn protruding from their heads. The horn is thought to be made of bone. It may have been used for fighting or for attracting a mate. It's quite scary to look at. Smilodon. This makes me think of Diego from the Ice Age movie. Smilodon was not really a tiger, although very distantly related to the modern day cheetah, tiger and lion. I love its teeth. The massive curved canines grew to about 12 inches or 30 centimeters long in the largest saber toothed tigers. The teeth were not very strong and were brittle and could break off easily. Smilodon would have used its long teeth to puncture or stab an animal with a bite to the belly or neck and wait for it to die before feasting on it. Notice that Smilodon had a short tail much like a bobcat. Thank you for watching my video, please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more great videos. See you again soon. Remember to tell me if the giant sloth walked on two legs or four legs. And remember to stay for the fun ending, that is going to be really good. And the action is about to start. We're going to have a fight and then there's a bit more fun afterwards.
special thank you to my friend Brett to Gorilla. To subscribe, press or click on the Super Fun Reviews colorful button to watch any of the videos, just press or click on the one you would like to see. Thanks again.